Hey guys, I'm Captain Mitchell Duggar from Key West, Florida. I'm down here in Southern California to put together a series of fly casting videos to help some clients of mine. I'm going to be covering everything from the basics to troubleshooting for the more advanced caster. Hope you enjoy. One thing that's important to remember in this fly casting, whether you're out here practicing or if you're out on the river or you know on the ocean uh, casting, is if a cast goes bad, you can almost never repair it in midair. Sometimes it's better just to put it down and start fresh. So same way when we're out here casting, if you get into a rhythm that you know that doesn't feel right, just go ahead and set it down, take a quick second to think about it, and start over again. There's no point in having this stuff whipping all over the place because it's just not going to help you at all, okay? So let's go ahead and start again. Velcro closet, Jennifer. Rip it back. Punch it forward. Rip it back. Back one, two. Punch forward, one, two. Velcro closet. That's it. A little more sidearm. Beautiful. Great, Jennifer. Punching forward. Feel that thumb. Push forward that thumb. Good. Good rhythm. Nice timing. That looked really nice. Feeling okay? Yeah. One thing that you did, I noticed that when um, you went sidearm, okay? And let me kind of hold your hand real quick. You only did it once or twice, but we just kind of need to focus on these things while we have them. Right. When you went sidearm, you just kind of went to whipping it to right. this place and you kept that rod tip pointed over here. So the sidearm isn't just kind of whipping it in here. The angle's kind of out here. It's just a little bit lower. Sidearm, I mean, okay. we're not trying to skip this thing off the right. bottom, you know, off the, off the ground there. So it's still up here like this. The difference between sidearm, which is this, to vertical is kind of that. So we're only really moving this rod tip three or four feet over that side. And what's nice about this too is watching this cast, we can watch this hand and this elbow drop in the whole time. Everything's just right out here to our side. And watch as we're just, see how we move that rod tip back and forth? See what that line does? Mm -hmm. It creates that loop moving back and forth. And that's all we're trying to do in the air. And remember, like we were saying before on that Velcro closet thing, you're going to rip it back to a complete stop, start, boom, right back forward. But good, good cadence. Really, really awesome work, Jennifer. Really good stuff. Much, much better than yesterday. Much more defined loops, much more confidence in the cast. You know, just shake it off, keep it loose, and, and think you're doing great. We'll do this a couple more times, and then we're gonna work on shooting line a little bit, okay? okay? And this, you know, for, for your practicing for later on, I mean, this is, this is exactly what I want you to do. I mean, you know, when we're out here practicing in a park, we're not actually you know, fly casting, we're going through some of those individual motions and those little baby steps. And once all those come together, at the end of the whole thing, we're gonna be fly casting. And this is just such a great start. And like I said before, I don't need you to cast much further than that. I just need you to do it every time and accurate. And the more comfortable you get with that kind of distance align and learning how that rod feels as it's kind of loading, the more confidence you'll have once we're actually out fishing, okay? But you're doing fantastic, let's keep it going. Beautiful, really, really nice. Take a bow, you deserve it. Look at that line, I mean, just right there where you're standing, everything laid out nice, it came off of that right hip. You know, and think about that when you lay that down, that's what you wanna see. I mean, everything you're doing, we want this line lined up off of your right side, that's perfect. Okay. It's when it starts coming in front, in, in front of you, and you know, what you can't see on the video is we have a slight wind kind of coming in like this. Right. You're generating high enough line speeds to punch through that little bit of wind we have and lay that line down where we want it. So when you see that, you gotta be happy with, you know, seeing that it's not drifting across right. you. You got great rhythm and tempo, so just keep that up a couple more times. Good, set that down. What you did really nice there in those last couple and what I was going to come forward and tell you is you need to pick up that tempo just a little bit. You're kind of moving you know, after, the, after the back and after the forward. Um, and you can tell when that happens where you're generating good loops. The line is going forward, but if you notice, that fly had a tendency to kind of come back and skip on the front and skip on the back a little bit, something that you can feel on there. Right. You know, when that happens, that you can go ahead and speed up 
that motion moving forward and back. You still have to have those pauses in your front and your back, but you can speed it up just a little bit. And you did really good on those last two casts, okay? So maybe just increase that tempo a little bit. Good, really nice. Again, the reason that that arm is out, I didn't feel right. Good well, on I that mean, it's one. exactly. And what's kind of happening is, is your your back stroke comes out like this. Mm -hmm. Your forward stroke kind of comes in like this. Right, and, and I so, can feel it. And you can feel it and as that thing comes over. I mean, that's mm -hmm. right there. What happens when that thing kind of comes around like that? So, when remember when you're coming forward, we're pushing it almost to feeling out like a push away from the body. Okay. Right. 